Hey guys, and welcome to the Bible. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, this is going to be the Thomas Tuchel press conference reaction. I apologise that it's out late. Obviously, it happened late, uh, not late last night, but in the afternoon. And um, by then, I already had videos scheduled and I was busy anyway. So either way, um, I'm getting it up for you guys now. The preview will be coming in the next couple of hours also. Uh, and then, of course, we'll have the live stream. Excited for this game. Obviously, the last game wasn't the best. As always, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'm in the car, but uh, we've stopped. Um, so this should be fine. And I've got a tripod. So... He was with Joshua Kimmich, uh, so obviously they're in Copenhagen, which I believe is Denmark, I want to say, uh, and um, Joshua Kimmich was there with Thomas Tuchel, um, so, um, you know, Kimmich, Kimmich had something to say, and then we'll get into Tuchel, so, uh, as always, hit the subscribe button, like I said, Jamal Muziala or Muz Muziala's Magic will be back tomorrow, hopefully I've got to record that tonight, if I get a chance, if not, it'll be Thursday or Friday. Let's go though. So, um, Kimmich on the pitch in Copenhagen. He said, I've heard a lot about the pitch. Uh, isn't that good. Uh, we'll see in training shortly. Um, it's always nice to play on a good pitch. But we should uh, be capable of playing well on a pitch that isn't great. Which is fair enough. Um, you know, that is, just is what it is, isn't it? Um, oh, these are all, all saved in the wrong bloody order. Of course they have bail me one second people um and again with with obviously the pitch and all of that it shouldn't be that bad to be honest with you it really really shouldn't be that bad if i'm honest um as i say okay yeah the, um kimmick on leroy sane's form he said he has always put in the effort yeah okay i'll give you that it's just the effort wasn't good enough but okay i'll give you that uh he is uh physical uh physically very strong and uh, it's impressive how consistent he's performing on the pitch i like i love that the teammates are together and that's good and i'm glad that you know we we want we want unity but at the same time like he was shit last season like at the end of the last season he was crap so can we not talk like he's god's gift like he's doing fantastically right now and i hope this continues and then it continues for the rest of his buying tenure i really really do but it's not going to you know and if i'm proved wrong then i'm proved wrong but yeah oh well. um bloody out bike just nearly hit the car um he has rewarded himself for working hard uh he has um also shown what he is capable uh, what he can do uh in the past uh, at the moment he's doing it um every three days um which is great for us um even in phases when things aren't going well he still shows that he has exceptional qualities uh he's enjoying his football which spreads the rest spreads to the rest of the team i hope this will continue for a long time again so do i um gimmick on scoring from corners lately said i've always um i'm always pleased when we score goals and win it worked well in recent weeks i hope it continues um we haven't changed much um on the squad he said a small squad has advantage and disadvantages every player realizes they're needed it's important we have everybody on board uh, we're uh, reliant on every uh, on every player staying fit. When everyone's fit, it's enough. If we have uh, three in injured centre backs, like against Munster, uh, then it's tight. But we also dealt with it well. Well, again, we were against Munster. I know what he's saying, but we were against Munster. Let's not let's not talk. You know, if that was City, we would have got ripped apart. You know, but whatever. Um, now we get on to the clown, Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel on the contrast in performance in the first and second half against Leipzig. He said, we're not worried. Uh, we analyse it. Um, we've analysed it all uh, and drawing um, our conclusions, which we'll discuss with the teams. Um, we're trying to develop a better plan and fill it with more life. Uh, we're still finding a way to get into games, uh, which is positive. We'll stick uh, with the positive things. Well, yeah, you've got to stick with the positive things, mate, because you fucked everything else up, dickhead. And if it wasn't for us getting a penalty, we still would have lost 2-1. So, yeah. Uh, on Jerome Boateng, um, he was asked about him, of course. He said the um, uh, around the controversy around him. He said, um, incident until proven guilty uh, when a trial is uh, defend, uh, def when when a trial is uh, defend defended defend 
deferred. I can't fucking read. Uh, as a football club, we have the right to make football decisions. Jerome is a player uh, with great merit uh, and has the right to train with us. You know his position. You know what the situation was uh, with the, the cup game. Jerome is in Munich anyway um, and has kept himself fit. Uh, he's training uh, with us now and we'll see what we decide. Um, he actually said something else on Jerome Bird. I need to find it. Where the freaking hell is it? And then he also said, I'm not aware of any unrest at the club or the team because of that. Uh, I understand the discussions among the fans, but the trial is uh, is deferred. So uh, innocent until proven guilty applies here. To be honest with you, I've always said when it comes to the legal shit, I, I don't really want to get involved in it. Um, of course, if it's a certain player and that, you kind of have to. Uh, and obviously he's not a current player at the moment. But at the end of the day, I just want to kind of stick to the thing. If we have to talk it, I'll talk about it. But uh, I'd rather just talk about, you know, the footy, if I'm honest with you. Um, then, to call on why he decided to hold the final training in Copenhagen, he said we have to look at the pitch. Uh, so basically, they normally do it at the training ground in Munich. Um, but for the first time in however long um a long time we've actually gone to copenhagen um he said we um i'm pleased uh, we decided to do this with our training we decided on the game by game basis there wasn't much time training is being done uh, with less intensity um and tactics for the galatasaray game um, the plan is we'll train in Munich due to the long flight. Um, in the case of the pitch, it isn't as good as we'd like. Uh, then we have time tomorrow. If needed, we'll um, obviously adapt our playing style. Um, which is interesting. Uh, I, on, on Copenhagen, I said I've watched their games. Um, we'll prepare seriously. We first want to include the Leipzig game. We'll limit it with two meetings, uh, keep uh, the info to a minimum. Uh, I have the greatest respect for every opponent in the Champions League. Uh, it's the toughest uh, club competition in the world, I agree. Um, Copenhagen didn't lose at home in the Champions League last season against Manchester City, Dortmund and Sevilla. So it's going to be a tough game. I still do think we're going to win, but we'll see. Uh, I've watched the uh, games with uh, okay. I can't why have I screenshot that twice? What a knob! Um, I've seen I've never seen a easy Champions League group stage. Well, you haven't seen Bayern Munich then, mate, because we make it quite easy. Um, every game has a special character. Tomorrow's game will definitely be diff uh, will definitely be different than the two games against Galatasaray. One hundred percent focus. Um, on Copenhagen uh, that's why I don't have a deep analyst on a Galatasaray yet but I can imagine what awaits us there so I believe that's that so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below make sure to smash the thumbs up hit the subscribe button thank you for the constant support as always and until then yes I'm here peace out let me know what you think on what Tuchel had to say let me know what you think on what I've had to say and so on peace out people check out the other content check out mission mission Muziala's magic and um, peace out people have a great night